Hi, and thanks for joining us today. We're going to talk today about how to make better decisions, faster decisions, and more efficient decisions using Ment. So I'm going to walk you guys through Ment and the platform, uh, and I'll start over at the sign-up page. So if you can see my screen now, you'll see that when you fill out the sign-up page, you've got your traditional fields, but a really important field for all the analytics that we're going to see later in the back end is also what field you work in. So as you're filling out the details, make sure to click which one you're, is most relevant. So let's choose marketing and deep dive in. First thing you're gonna see is a quick video about how to use Ment. You can go, let's get started. The most important thing with every decision that you're making in your organization is how do you, how do you start a conversation? What's the first question that you ask? How do you ask the question so that you get the best feedback, feedback from your team? So you can customize obviously a question or pick one of the question options that you've got here below and continue. You ask the question and then what you're gonna do is add your team, right? Because you need as many people on your team that you're having as part of this discussion to make a decision. But most popular is that you're gonna pull people in from all different parts of the organization. If you're in marketing, you're gonna be talking to people within the sales organization, people within the product side, people on the dev side, add your fellow teammates and then let's get going. Now, as you'll see, the question pops up here, every new question comes up, and you've got all these options to add answers. Now, when you're asking a question, you can do two things. One of them is leave it open. Ask your team what's the answer, and let them kind of give their feedback. Sometimes you kind of want to organize it, structure that discussion for them. Feed them some different answers as possible answers that you think are, are possibilities. Let them give their feedback. Part of this discussion is having a lot of feedback, having people be able to tell you why they agree or disagree with one of your statements. I'm gonna actually jump now to a discussion that's already built out to show you what it looks like. So you can see how you can build out those discussions, what it'll look like, and then the analytics on the back end. The analytics is core, because what we're able to see with analytics is what are the top answers? Easily as a decision maker, when you've got 20, 30, 100, 1,000 people in your team giving feedback, sometimes, you know, you're not gonna be able to read through all these answers and we're able to pull using machine learning and AI what the top answers are. So let me share with you that screen. And what you'll see here is a discussion that's more built out. So this is our homepage, where by the way, you're able to open a new discussion from the homepage as well. Either from this right here, add a new discussion or on the top right where it says new discussion. So when you click on the new discussion button, it'll open up another option to add another question. Ask the question, add relevant data, add some attachments, photos, what have you, as well as adding a due date. The due date's gonna really help you because if you set a due date because you've got your board meeting, exec meeting, et cetera, and you need an answer by end of week, end of month, it'll remind everyone in the team, hey guys, two days left, give your feedback before the due date. Now here's where we get into some interesting stuff. This is an example of a question what you'll see here is there are five different answers where the CEO said, all right, guys, what's the focus next quarter after our launch? And then you've got all these answers down here. And you'll notice there's a ranking over here where you've got how each of these different answers rank. And as you scroll through it, you'll notice how it's score is based on the scoring. So the top answers are the first things you're going to see. You want to make a decision. You've got your team already onboarded. They're already answering your questions. You can really, in a quick glance, you can see the top answers here. Now, let's go into one of these answers here. Here's an answer by Barbara. Barbara gave an answer talking about how testing should be the new focus for the next quarter. As you scroll down, you'll be able to see who disagreed, who agreed, what they said, right? When you're in a board meeting or you're on a teleconference, generally, it's very hard to hear everybody. It's really hard to get everyone's feedback and when you're using something like emails or some type of collaboration tool, it's really difficult to get everyone's feedback in a way that if they happen to not be online at that moment, you kind of miss it. Here, it, it's not, it's this, you know, it, as an asynchronous platform, you can give feedback later. You can come in, you know, a day later, a couple hours later, give your feedback, explain why you agree or disagree. Now, another really interesting thing, if you notice in this answer, is that there's a structured argument here where you can agree with someone's agreement, but you can also disagree with that disagreement. And here's also Barbara coming in to give some information, and you can pull in all different types of screenshots, Tableau information, and explain why you're agreeing or disagreeing with somebody's statement. 
All of this is all calculated on the back end, giving those scores to each of these answers. Now what's really great is you're able to see the analytics for each of them. So as you deep dive and you're trying to make your decision, you can click on the analytics and see where within the departments in the company are you able to see what people are thinking about this answer. So for example, here you can tell that marketing supports this answer, customer success is supporting the answer. R&D is, is pretty negative here, right? You've got 14 challenges. If we go back to the first answer from Barbara, you'll notice a very different split where there are 22 agreements from R&D, huge support from sales product, very different. Another interesting thing over here is the score over time. You can tell that Barbara's answer at, at first seemed to be kind of dipping. People weren't really supportive of this answer. And then over time, it got much stronger. While the second answer over here, which is the second in terms of scoring, started off pretty strong. So at the beginning, people were supporting it and slowly it kind of got knocked down here and became more debatable. Another thing you can see is if we go back to the main question page, you can see the general analytics of that. So you can see the whole discussion analytics. There have been 154 total activity within this question. You can see how much activity there has been within the team. So that out of the team, out of the 16 people within this team, 12 of them were active. What percentage were from R&D, things like that. And down here, this purple chart, I think is really helpful because this will tell you like, all right, there was a peak where everyone's kind of been really active in this discussion. And then it kind of dropped down. And now the conversation's really over. There may be some things trickling in over time. Three days ago, there were some, you know, another person gave a little bit more feedback. But really, all in all, this discussion is pretty much over. You can you really make your decision based on the information that you have here. We're going to just showing you another important thing. You'll notice this purple bar over here on any question that a decision was made, which means that if we go into it, part of the value here is you've also got a little bit of knowledge management. So when somebody asks a question and they've at the end come to a decision, you can log what that decision was and what it was based on. So it could be based on multiple answers and it could be based on one answer. In this case, they based on one answer. And, when, and over here, you see that little tag over there saying decision. And at the top, it tells you what the decision was made, when it was made, and what the answer was. So let's say in three months, six months, you decide, let's look again at what our focus should be. You can come back and see, like, why did we focus on testing? And all of that's something really helpful. You can obviously always invite more people to the team, add any more information about the new discussion, anything like that. There's one more really cool thing that I want to show you, which is a button over here, which is a general analytics page. And this shows your team analytics overall for all discussions ever done within MET. So you can see your discussion quality. This will show you from all the discussions you've been having on men, how, how was the quality of that discussion? How much engagement was there? It'll also show you team collaboration. It'll show you in terms of your team between the different members with the most interactions. It also has lots of different team statistics. So you can see how many questions there have been, how many participants, time till they make a decision, percentage of decisions made, and the activity as well as participants. How much of the participant how participation comes from different departments within the organization. Thanks so much for joining us today. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out.